Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning about how to use Olive's video editing software, which is free software, to crop videos, whether you want to crop the image in the video or crop the video itself to make it shorter or longer, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering both in this video. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. So jumping straight in, I have a sample video here. So I will just go ahead and drop that down here and you'll see it's a video of my desktop and right here I have my YouTube channel pulled up and then right here I have a different section of my YouTube channel pulled up. So the audio is just me saying sample one and sample two. So I'll play this part real quick. Sample two. So you'll see that is sample two. Now maybe we want the first part of the video cut out completely. So to crop this section here, or to cut it, we can use this tool right here. It looks like a little razor blade. It's called the razor tool. We can put this red line right where we want to cut, and we'll just click. Now we can use this pointer tool again, and we can click this section, and you can just delete. Then we have this freestanding piece here that we can move around, so we'll just put it at the beginning. And now we have a shorter video with just the sample one, sample two audio, basically, that I was saying. Now, to crop the physical images themselves, so maybe, for example, if we bring the pointer tool back over here, you'll see this is the sample two. Maybe I had something I wanted to put in this video. For example, some people will put in videos of them talking up here in the top left or top right, or really anything that you want to add in. I'll walk you through that next. So I have this untitled JPEG file, and this is effectively just a white image that is 1920 by 1280. So you'll see it's going to be the same resolution as the video screen here. So when I put that in, it's going to display that instead of the video. And this is placed just above the video. So you can adjust the length by dragging here to show how long you want it to be on the screen. But another thing that you could do is you can crop it using the effects up here. So for this video effect here, if you go to this option here and you go to distort, making sure that you've selected the right option or the right video because now we have this video and the image. So I'm going to distort the video first. So if you wanted to click crop, you'll see here the crop options. So left, right, top, bottom, etc. We also have the same for this. So we'll click the, this and then we will click on distort and crop. And just to give you a quick example, we'll crop from the top. So we'll just choose 50. And you'll see that now the video is underneath. So you have effectively cropped, if I'm not mistaken, these numbers are basically 0 to 100 as a percentage of the screen. So for example, if we just wanted to, maybe we just wanted to cut off the URL up here and kind of blank that out. So we could set it from the top and make this, so we would put this back to 0. And then from the bottom, we would choose something like 95 and click OK. So you'll see we just barely missed the mark, so we would just maybe bring it to 96. 93 and now we have basically added in this white bar that has taken out the address bar so that you can't see the URL that we're on. So that's a sample use case but as you could tell for example when I was mentioning earlier how you could add in something else like maybe a video of yourself talking. So you could crop uh, if you were interested and you could work with these numbers. So basically what you could do is if you wanted to crop, let's just say we wanted something 25 over. Maybe we wanted it a little bit smaller, uh, closer to the bottom. And then from the top, let's just say we want it 10 down. And then from the right, Let's just say we wanted 50. So now you'll see we've changed this to a little rectangle that's in the middle of the screen. So that's one option for you. Now bearing in mind, if you're cropping video footage, this is gonna be cutting out. So it's not necessarily shrinking it. It is basically just cutting the section of the image. 
But if you were interested, as you can tell, what I'm basically trying to show you is you have the ability to make something like a little section of the screen right here where then you could put that video overlay. So that's one option for you. Now, another thing you may be wondering is what happens if you crop this video without anything underneath? So you'll see, we'll just go ahead and choose 50 for the value here, and it just cuts off that half of the screen. But the rest of the video will still function as it should. So again, if you want to crop the actual footage here, you can just choose this razor tool, click here and choose the pointer, and then you'll then be able to drag them together. If you select off and then choose the individual piece, you can then separate the footage so that when the footage from one ends, there's blank space and then the next one begins. And then you can crop the footage itself by selecting it, choosing the effects, going to distort, and then choosing the crop option. And then remember, you can always add in footage over top of others. So you would basically be able to um, add in any other things that you want to, to move or add as you see fit. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.